in view in this section is the left kidney in which I have marked this uh, proximal ureter, this linear tubular structure uh, is the proximal ureter, this one. And it measures 4.1, maximum up to 7. So this is uh, the left kidney. Up, this is the lower pole, mid region, the upper pole, and here you see the calluses, they are not dilated and the proximal ureter is showing normal dimension. This is a normal kidney and there is a reason, this is for the comparison purpose with this kidney now. Now you can see that this kidney is showing us, uh, this, these are the pyramids, the small cystic areas. Don't confuse it with uh, the direction of the calluses or hydronephrosis. And uh, the, this black area that you are seeing is the uh, <coughs> dilation of the calluses of the upper and mid, mid region. This is the pelvis of the kidney and here you see the ureter and the ureter measures 8.3 millimeters. So this is a dilated uh, proximal ureter and the uh, rest of the kidney shows minimal hydronephrosis that pressure is seen. Now these black tiny cystic areas these one, two, three, four, five, these are the pyramids and this is the cortex, this is medulla, this, these are the dilated calluses. Why are they dilated? Because of a calculus seen in the distal end of the dilated proximal ureter. Now this is the urinary bladder, this is part of the prostate, this is the seminal vesicle. This tubular structure plan is the distal ureter and here it measures 6.5 uh, relatively low. And otherwise, uh, if even if we don't measure it, no, normal distal ureter is not visualized. So this, uh, uh, this right distal ureter is visualized and this is where it enters the urinary bladder and at this region there is a dense coarse equogenic area measuring 7.4 millimeter giving shadow. This is the calculus impacted in the distal ureter. Dilated I will say without measurement because normal distal ureter is not visualized. Now this uh, so these findings in the kidney of uh, dilated uh, calluses, dilated proximal ureter is because of uh, this calculus. You see, this is the, in fact, ureterovesical junction. Now it's dilated ureterovesical junction and stone is about to enter the urinary bladder. This is the calculus, this is the U UVJ, or the most distal end of the uh, dilated, uh, of the dilated uh, distal ureter. So it's about to enter the urinary bladder. Here we are. So this is a case of obstructive uropathy due to a calculus in the post distal part of the dilated uh, right yeah, distal ureter. Thank you very much.